Maybe that's why yeah. he joined the watch. No more yeah. pretending. That's a that sounds too good to be. And a short one, too, if I'm lucky. Good evening, folks. I am the Closet Gamer, and tonight we are doing more <laughs> Final Fantasy VII. Uh, yes, it is that time again. Um, it's been a heavy week. It's going to be nice just to uh, get some gaming on, get some more of this amazing experience finished. Uh, well. It's hoping we do good. Anyway, uh, before we get started, if you enjoy my content, please try like and subscribe my way as it really does help my channel grow and flourish. Alternatively, you find me on Twitter at Hellartstitch, posting various news and updates. Right, so that's the particulars out of the way. Hello, Closet Gamer, today on time. Welcome, Mr. X. Thank you for the like, buddy. Right, so. What happened last time, or what didn't happen last time? We did, had a nice fun minecart ride, which Yuffie didn't like. Uh, we fought Phoenix and lost a good few times. Um, we got to Corel, the actual town, and it shit. Now it got some water poured on his head, or looked like some kind of blood from like, it looked like some kind of vampiric juice or something, because it was blood. Uh, that got poured on his head, and. Now we can go to the gold saucer or not. We also went to a cave to do Red's quest where we found a zombie man at the behest of a doctor. Red's scent is not up to scratch because clearly he can smell food over fucking um, oh, food over fucking zombie men, which is what you should be able to sniff out, fucking bastard. Anyway, um, I got the game of today on time. Pay close attention to Tifa. Especially the cutscenes featuring Tifa Claw. I know, Mr. X. Tifa will get her due diligence. She always does, buddy. At the moment, I'm concerned with trying to find the next idiot who I'm meant to be challenging in Queen's Blood. I mean, I have no fucking idea where this guy is. Like, there's meant to be another challenger here, but I'm not seeing them. Unless they're somewhere else on the map. We only just arrived here at the beginning of the last session. it's all got a sound the matter, Mr. X. It's all got a sound it. I mean, is there. Oh, of course you wouldn't. What else is out here? Convention Bridge. Combat assignment six out of six. I mean, is this the same region as? Is it the same region as Costa del Sol? Like it's got the same quests. I'm getting confused now because I want to do the quest, but at the same time, I think I'm. It's just some things missing. How was your week anyway, Mr. X? Groovy? Groovy fish? Buddy, I started my engine long ago. 
Goji, 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 Goji. Well, it's good to see that someone's already in Friday mode. I had to go and mow lawns, so my engine didn't exactly start immediately. What the fuck does this lead to? Where are we going, guys? Where is this taking me? Going. Desert gate. Oh, hang on a minute. Have we uncovered the open world segment? Remember to appreciate feminine shapes. It is everyone's duty for gamers who don't want the uglification of new video games. <laughs> Mr. X, you have a way of putting things that just... Yeah. I mean... I mean, they're not wrong at all. Oh my god. This looks like this leads to where the Tombri is, but we can't get there still. Some kind of monster over there. Some kind of monster. I just named a Metallica album. How dare I? Right, off we go. Hello, Mr. Frex. Hashtag uglification. Yeah. I think we should get that trending on Twitter, don't you? I think there's a valid. I think it's a valid word. I mean, even my friend, who generally tends to love anything Star Wars, he said the girl just doesn't look right. He's like, her face just doesn't look right. He was like, and he's an artist as well. <laughs> so, you know. It's one thing when he doesn't like something, especially because he's a fucking Star Wars nerd who tends to love all of it. He loved the sequel trilogy. I mean, a, a trilogy I hated. He loved that. And yet, this new character that Ubisoft have made, he just thinks she looks very ugly and odd. And I don't, I don't disagree. She's, there's something up. Like, they've done something. They've given her a longer chin or something. It just, it looks weird. I've seen the comparisons. The actress is actually quite pretty. So it doesn't make any sense why she looks quite so... Yeah. It's definitely something going on. It's definitely, yeah. It's, it's unquestionable. But for me, the, the most offensive thing that happened this week was seeing that bullshit on, on Tomb Raider. The very fact... The very fucking fact... That they can go around using the name Tomb Raider and she doesn't raid tombs. What the actual fuck are they smoking? I mean, in what world does that work? <laughs> like, like, can, do they not see themselves? Do they not see what they're doing? Like, I don't understand people with that mindset. Like oh cultural appropriation oh look we've got to go we've got to get over how we you know how we basically made democracy the fact that we stood on some other countries and stuff I mean yeah but I mean seriously why ruin a game why not just make your own if you if you really want to make a game which talks about that kind of thing and that's the very point of the game make your own then. Make your own game. Stop using IPs that have an established fan base for your own political bullshit that they don't give a flying fuck about. Okay? People do not want to be lectured about historical artifacts and, what, and whether or not they should go to a fucking museum or whatever. They want to go for a game and just have fun. I know it's a very difficult understanding and that's a very difficult mindset for these people because they've never had fun in their lives but they do not want to be lectured to for fucking hours while they play a game they just want to play a game and have fun that's it that's it it's very simple if you want to make a game like that no one will buy it and it will flop and then you'll realize how stupid you'll be 
Because no one supports Tomb Raider not being about ra raiding tombs. No one does. No one will agree to this. It's going to flop. But yeah. Um, Goji Berry, do you saw leaks of Star Wars Outlaws and Tomb Raider Shadows of the Truth? I'm furious too closely about new Lara Croft is in this new game. Well, it's not Lara Croft, is it? I mean, let's be honest. It, it won't be about Lara Croft. It can't be. It'll, it, she'll be Lara Croft in name only. It won't be her. I mean, let's, let's move away from how she looks. Even the very idea that she can't be a Tomb Raider is ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. It doesn't work. It just doesn't. How is that a game? Like, everyone who's seen the concept goes, like, says, this doesn't look... Who wants to play it? Who wants to play this? Who is going to play this? No one is going to play this. It's going to flop. So you're better off just owning what the IP is and giving people what they want. Stop being children. Use your IP responsibly. Because you don't fucking own it. The fans own it. You've merely got hold of the license for now. The fans own it. They're the reason it's fucking popular. Yeah, they're both awful. I was excited for the Star Wars game too. I well, it could be a good game. I mean, who knows? But they've done some. They they need to start sorting out how they're making characters. I mean, seriously. Don't know what. I don't know whether it's. I don't know whether it's body positivity because there's certainly there was certainly a push in the past about. Um. Like female body shapes being too exaggerated and you know like plus sized women should be represented in games i remember that being a whole push at one point but i also heard an argument that it's from coming from from people who think trans people like want to identify with characters so they have to make them more ugly which in my opinion is offensive to trans people <laughs> because you're basically saying that they're you know in order for them to see themselves in the game they have to see an ugly female character when that's not what the whole idea is, they want to be rep they want to be visualised as attractive. I imagine, like all of us. So again, neither argument makes sense for why they're doing this. None, you know, it doesn't make sense. Um, and that Tomb Raider thing is a tabletop RPG too. Well, yeah, it will start there. That's what the thing. That's the thing with me. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to buy this. But the very fact that that's what they're doing. Just to one of their, just 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 to it in general, it tells me they've got their prioritizing the wrong things already. Like they should not be responsible for this IP. It's, if anything, it makes an argument for why these people should not be in charge of games ideas. Like they should not, ha they should not be able to touch them, because clearly they they will not do anything responsible with them. Nothing. It's, yeah, it's ridiculous, quite frankly. Uh, Laura Croft and Tifa Lockhart, two of my best video game characters. Star Wars Outlaws and Uglification on a hard level based on, on for female character from beautiful actress born in Venezuela on Wikipedia 2004 with a total of 24 wins and big four intentionally beauty pageants, the most any country in the world and consisting of seven Miss Universe titles. Oh really? Six Miss Universe titles, nine Miss International titles, two Miss Earth titles, unbelievable. Vanessa Go Go Gonzalez Sanchez born yeah, is a Canadian actress. Oh, you're talking about exactly what what you're talking about is exactly what a trans person said. They said they didn't want to be ugly in games. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why? <laughs> like, if that's why they're creating them, it's a very silly message and it doesn't work. <laughs> it's... I don't understand what these what these games developers think they're doing. It has to, it, again, it just has to be out of touch feminists who really think people want this. I mean, again, out of touch being the key word because, you know, or touched in the head. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, it's something no one wants. So, you know, congrats. People want to play as good looking people. It's simple as that. They even want to be cool, they want to be sexy, they want to be the best iteration of themselves that they can be. They're not being that if you're making the character look unappealing. Now for me it's not even about beauty, it's about appeal. Now bearing in mind this, I've talked about this before on Twitter, but 
long story short, appeal is an animation principle. It was actually founded by Disney back in the day. You know, I mean, like Sonic and Mario, they're appealing characters because they're exaggerated, they've got proportions, their heads are big, they're colourful, they're loud and bright. You know, they're appealing, right? Bayonetta is appealing because she's got really long legs. You know, the character design is interesting. Now, say what you want about, like, for example, The Last of Us being a, a good IP, right? It's only a good IP because the story was good, like the first game. The character designs of Ellie and Joel are just people. And I would argue they're not appealing characters because they're just normal, especially nowadays, like because they have to capture the, the likeness of the actress or the actor on the characters themselves. Like, can you imagine Cloud looking like his voice actor? I mean, I can't. I've seen the Cody guy, he was in Team Wolf. He hasn't got blonde hair like that. You know why Cloud's popular? Partially because of his look. He stands out. He's got a massive sword. Look at his look, his muscles, everything about him. I want to play as Cloud. Would I want to play as the actor who voices Cloud? No. Because he looks like me. <laughs> He's an ordinary bloke. Why would I want to play as him? I just, I'd like... I'd, I'd, I want to play as Aerith. I, I would not want to play as the voice actress of Aerith. <laughs> the same as Red. Red is an interesting character. I want to play as Red. Look at him. He looks cool. I want to play as Red. But I do not want to play as the guy who voices Red. Seriously, guys. Can you not understand this? Seriously. Appeal exists. Okay? That's him before we even look at beauty. Appeal. Character design. Things that are unique. Not generic, ordinary looking fucking people who live down the road. We do not want to play as them. Get it through your head. Understand it. Consume it. Digest it. Chew on it. <laughs> Fuck it. Jesus Christ. Oh. Infuriates me. It infuriates me. I just don't get it. I don't know how else you could spell it out. Man, this is great. I wish I could soundbite your whole speech right here. <laughs> Objective truth. <laughs> well, feel free. I won't strike it down because it's fucking true. Don't know. I don't get what people. Yeah. I mean, look at Barrett. I'd love to play as Barrett. Look at him. He's fucking cool. Just fucking cool looking character. So cool. I'd love to play as him. I played as him. I fucking love him. He's great. I don't care about any of the other aspects. The fact that they look cool is enough. Yes, Cloud Strife is a 100% babe magnet. But he, yeah, but he's also cool. He's a guy you want to be. I want to be Cloud. <laughs> Do I want to be me in a game? No. <laughs> I'm not cool. Cloud is cool. I don't think there's anything else down here, so we're just going to go. Actually, let me look at Chadley quick. Let's do Chadley. Chadley's got a mission. There's nothing here. I've been running around this fucking area for ages, even during my diatribe speech, and there's nothing here. Like, it says there's a mission here. I'm not seeing it. Right. I mean, is that a mission? If I go there, is that is, is that going to take me somewhere new? Town is confusing the fuck out of me. The cloud is it only thing that can help him with his health condition. The ultimate bag magnet, Cloud Strife. Cloud's just super, super cool. Everyone wants to be Cloud. Ah, weapons vendor. You were talking about me upgrading my weapons. Let's see. Let's see how we do that. I've never done that. I don't think. I trust you ain't just window shopping. Oh, so you can buy weapons. Well, at least you don't have to buy the new ones. Don't think I could afford how much they fucking cost. Bye, bro. Bye, bro. Been out of work for ages. You my family, you monster. So join in her lament.
滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴。Right. Let's do Chadley's other mission. Alexander, the sacred mechanical fortress of Corel, is now available for you to fight. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Combat simulator, lads. You have not unlocked this challenge. Defeat Silver Chimera, defeat Doomworm, defeat Bladefim, defeat Saberhawk. There's 22 out of 25 enemies in the Corel region. 25 out of 25. Combat training Yuffie, as soon as the side of battles you have to. Oh, let's do that. Do Yuffie's challenge. Come on, game. Come on. Show me the money. Show me the money. A square to strike for Yuffie's throwing star, hold it down to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. Hold it to continue. Oh, right, hold it down. Alexandra is fight on the other level, so warning. Okay, no eyes, Mr. X. You guys gonna do anything to me, or are you just gonna sit there? Boom. I'm a ninja. A bad ninja. A bad ninja. Now, if you can launch a throwing star, a distant enemy with a throw, a weapon will remain aloft, continuously damage the target, and return all the after some time. Throw again or hold it to retrieve it sooner. While the throwing star is away, press square and unleash long range ninjutsu. This skill starts as non energy magic attack. Yuffie's initial moves are Art of War and Elemental Ninjutsu. The Art of Yuffie's ability enemy with blows and enhances all subsequent attacks while this effect is active. The ability will transform into Supreme Art of War, dealing even more damage. Elemental Ninjutsu challenges the Elemental Affinity of Yuffie's Ninjutsu. While her weapon is away, pressing left and right, the ability's highlight will alter the affinity. Use Elemental Ninjutsu to exploit your enemy's weakness and pound them into submission. Let's try assholes. Dun dun dun! Chadley is badly. He is badly. We don't like Chad. Because he needs to be a Chad to be a Chadley. He's not Chad enough for my for my liking, unfortunately. Mr. X. Have I done everything in the core region? Because it looks like there's nothing else here. I mean, I'm about to go to the Gold Saucer. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. It's on you. I'll take care of them. Get ready. Sorry, but I gotta. Wait, it will. Last your shield. Soul drain. Soul drain. <laughs> Aerith is quite overpowered, to be fair. Yuffie sounds like Tiny Tina from Borderlands. Maybe it's the same voice actress, Goj. That's a look up for you right there, my friend. You'll be going back here. Oh, okay. Thanks for the intel, dude. So we're going to go to the Gold Saucer then. Fuck it. Let's just go. There's nothing else to do here. Triple slash. 
Five old blade. Disorder. Limit cross slash. Ching. Oh yeah. I've got the skills today, lads. I've got the skills. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the vibe. I mean, shoot me the combat. Well, somewhat. You'll be going back to Golden Saucer too. Wait, did you say Golden Saucer earlier? I did. That's the next area, Goach. That's where we're heading. You got T for in team. Use Rise and Full Stag 180. Gotcha. Strength and bar of strength. Block is heat tank. Boom. Fair material improved. Mad skills. Oh my god! I know, the moment has arrived, Goj. We get to go to minigame paradise. And no doubt we will die there, but oh well. Eat it, asshole. I saw Tifa, I spawned. Blaze. Welcome to the party, pal. Welcome, dude. How you doing, buddy? Hello, Blaze. Blaze and Rooney. Mr. X, how's it going? Tifa is in fighting action, doing rise and fall. 
Fuck, OG, hey Stitch, how's it going? How you doing, buddy? Man, I need to find out just how many mini games are in this. We're gonna, yeah, there's bound to be a high tally. Let's, let's be honest. Um, I feel the mini games are more interesting than the main story. Blaze, that just tells me you haven't played the main story, bro. Never put down the main story. That's why I'm here. <laughs> But the mini games are fun. Uh, Gage Berry, I will tell you, I played over 150 hours for all mini games in Gold Saucer. I got on every mini game max level. Holy shit! Okay. Well, we will come back to Alexander. No, we can wait for you, Chad. Certain, however, a veteran mercenary like you would never abandon a task. I know you must be busy, but I'd appreciate your help. I tell you what, you show me where I've got to go, and I'll go and do more open world shit for you. As it stands, there isn't any. So, yeah, stick it, Chad. If I could do the open world busy work, I'd be doing it right now. Here we go, lads. It's the moment we have all been waiting for in this illustrious playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The moment we have all been pining for as famous and fabled fans of Final Fantasy VII. I didn't know a way of saying F with seven, but there we go. So, we are going up there. Is that it? Yes, up there. Jesus, it looks dead. That can't be it. Has to be it. Why does it look so fucking dead out here? It should have like loads of fucking lights and fireworks around it, no? Okay. Maybe it looks cooler at night. By that image, it should look cooler at night. Lock on all lights now, Goji Berry and Blaze. Here we go. Ready? Then let's get a move on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages. We are now going to the Golden Saucer. This has been a while in the making. Let's go. This will take us all the way to the saucer. You saucy devils. Assholes talk to you like that. You should go back and beat him up or something. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. You know about his past. I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? So hype. So hype indeed. This about her? About Marlene? <gasps> oh, that rubbed in the wrong way. Oh, we're gonna get a flashback. Please tell me we're gonna get the flashback. Corral wasn't much. Decent place with decent. Here we go. Here we go. Decent folks too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Here we go. <laughs> we yes. Happy. Covered in soot and porous dirt. But none of that mattered. Get to see a younger Barrett. Friends and family. And that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Marco and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> Boobs. So now only Dine is opposed. Dine, the only one who is against it. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dine. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder? When we're taking home less year after year. Mm. <sighs> if I 
I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. Dine is either incredibly tall. Come on. About as hench as Barrett. City slickers tell us our coal is worthless. We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we... I put off seeing Gold Saucer till I saw it on stream here. Oh, Goge, I'm so touched. Well, you and me are experiencing it together for the first time then, mate. Well then, all in favour? I wonder if the heat in Corel region will affect poor Cloud's health. Oh lord, look closely, Cosmic Gamer. Your favourite lady in red, Scarlet. I know, I know, I know. That's right, Basra. Lord have mercy. Two years later, they must be really fucking tall, I tell you, because Barrett is taller than Cloud. He's taller than everyone. Everyone was ecstatic. Convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Oh. Then one day. They were killing everyone. On the original anyway. The reactor exploded. Ah. Y'all saw the aftermath. That it? And then Shinra came oh. running into town. Here we go. Burned everything. Innocent people in their homes. Was that Scarlet? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. That bitch. I don't get it. Why burn the whole town? Yeah. To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lie right through their teeth. Waiting. Okay, we didn't get to see a little bit more of the backstory, but okay. Guess it makes more sense than then just coming and killing everyone. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't get to see a little bit more. That backstory was quite cool in the original. Is this really how it's gonna be? Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Big time respect right. for Baz. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The gold saucer. Here we go. So turn those frowns upside down. Turn those frowns upside down, people! Oh no, I'm thinking it too. It's gonna to be fun. It's gonna be fun. Goji Berry, you may be lucky today. It's coming up over there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see the gold saucer. Reimagined. Even Red's having a look. Glad to see we're all on the same page. Fucking right. Poor oh, Bass. Keep your fingers crossed, Goji Berry. Complete chapter 7. All that glitters. 
Oh, there's your fleet. Shiva, why not? Why would the summons not be flying around? Even they love the gold saucer. Chocos! Holy shit! <laughs> Cloud really is not that impressed, and neither is Barrett. Everyone else super excited though. Come on, Yuff. Get us in there. Oh, here we go, here we go. These three cool cats. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Oh look, zombie men! They're already here. They were they were already bobbing their way in. Hello, zombie man. Yes, what are you? Number 255. I mean, let's face it, you can't be in the double digits anymore. About 50 of your brothers been killed. It's exactly what I imagined. <laughs> Holy... Well, hang on, hang on a minute. It's not as impressive of an intro, though, is it? I mean, we, we arrived in a hangar. I mean, it might be more realistic, but come on, we should just start in the fucking main hall, shouldn't we? Come on, show me the attractions. More fucking zombie men. I don't need to see them. I need to see... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God, look at the helicopters. We got acid trip helicopters as well. Yes. Oh. Oh, the Turks are here, of course. Good to see them. Palmer. Palmer, you cock. We hate Palmer. He's a cocky bastard. He keeps patting his own ass. Yes. Army, you're such a cock. At least they're finally on a real what I want to see is flying by the golden saucer. See the whole thing. I know, can we get on one of those like little tour buses and go round it? El Presidente! Fly out of here, we want to see the gold saucer. We don't care about you Turks. Let's, let's get on to the fun now, shall we? All right, Red. Holy! Oh, the fireworks! We can't go up there. I want to see this. I want to see this chopper. Get to the chopper! But I want to get to the chopper! I can't get to the chopper! If you want, let me get to the chopper! Let me get to the chopper! It looks so colourful! Oh, damn it. I want to get to the chopper. So then that quote will make sense. It said you are denying me access to a colourful chopper. Not fair, bruh. It's not fair. I insist on a good chopper. Fucking assholes. Turds. I know. Turds. Turds in the punch bowl. Turdy, turdy, turd. We go in the water? Oh, we can have a swim at least. Yeah. What did you do when you first arrived at the gold source cloud? Oh, I went in for a little swim in there, little flipping decorate decorational pool. I'm proud of it. Zombie man again. Yeah, go this way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's nothing out here. Okay. There's a monster truck up there as well. It's the buggy, isn't it? It's the buggy that you get that goes over terrain. Ooh, can we have the buggy? I would like the buggy. Maybe the buggy will allow me to climb over those stupid bloody, what do you call it, bits of debris in the ocean. Here we go. Here we go. Look, this is the reception. Oh my god, it's Disneyland. 
Go on, Yuff. Push to the front. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh. Hang on, we got an intro dance number as well. Oh my god, there's mogs. It's fucking Sif. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, Cactuas. Oh my god, Tomboy. Oh my god, Fat Chocobo. Oh, I'm hitting the stomach with a materia. Oh, and it. A clothes changing. Is this Final Fantasy X 2 now we're talking about? What the fuck is going on? Oh, well, what the fuck is going on? It's the buggy. What the actual fuck is going on? Would you be able to turn the sound, that game sound up a little bit? Of course I can. There we go. Turn it up a bit. Hopefully that's better. Oh my god, we've got Andrea is here as well. Mr. Rodea, he's here. It looks like 10-2. Well, no, actually, now I'm getting, now I'm getting fucking remake vibes. Except it's not cloud dancing anymore. Oh, power cut. What the fuck is going on now? Oh, look, there's the buggy. Oh my god, this is the... That's Dio, isn't it? Fucking Dio. Yeah, walking around in his fucking pants. Any money, that's Dio. It's Dio, isn't it? Come on. Let's not lie. It's Dio. Fucking hell. He's ripped as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he's making them all pass out he just did a boob wiggle boob wiggle oh my god oh my god how are those guys carrying him sure they'd be dying by now what the fuck is going on of course they pick on cloud of course why would they not pick on cloud <laughs> Cloud's always being roped in. <laughs> he really does not. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I know it's Dio. Look at him. It's a fucking hairy beast. Yeah, hello. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Yeah, if you could get away, mate. This guy's going to pull your arm off. <laughs> Alright, cast member, you mean Cat Sif? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is about to happen? Do what? What am I doing? Am I fighting him? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, I'm now pixelated again. What the fuck? Okay, what? 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 What is happening? Oh my god, it's a dance number with fucking retro characters. Is that what we're saying? What the fuck is going on? You gonna explain the rules? What the fuck? Tutorial, thank god. But you were just gonna start me in a game. Give him a right hook. Oh my god, it's that fucking game in the original, isn't it? Where it's random if you win or lose. Right while the enemy's guard is down. Dodge. Left hook or right hook? Okay. If you're swinging from the right, press right. Okay. Right. I think I get. I think I understand that. 
And two hits in a row. So many emotions right there, let's read the chat, because yeah, we've fallen behind. Uh, I want to see is flying by the gold saucer, turds, closet gamer, cloud need R&R &R with flirting with adult ladies and fast. I'm going to have a word with GS man gold source management about them not letting us take the heli. I know, it should be, it should be enshrined in law, shouldn't it? It's the buggy. Buggy, I know it's Dio's buggy by the looks of it. Would you be able to turn the game? I've done that. New team member too. Oh yeah, Kate Sif. Yeah, again, I'm not too big on Kate Sif, but we'll see. Looks like ten two. Thank you. This is amazing. Oh shit, dude, this is something else. Look, I'm so disturbed. Closet gamer, cloud need R and I floating adult ladies and fast. Why does he have to have the same name as Ronnie James Dio? It's an insult. Is it? What the I don't know who that is. Get ready for first mini game. Need to evade attacks. I am tripping so hard right now. <laughs> One of the hardest mini games in this place. Yeah, it was in the original as well because I don't even think you could win. I, I couldn't win all five fights in the original of this fucking version of this game. Gojiro, don't laugh. This really is a super difficult mini game. It is because it's all delayed as well. Keep thinking it's the opposite way. Hope you're ready. Oh, his limit break is a three hit combo. Oh, I knocked him out. But I won. It's not an easy game. It's not an easy game. That was so random and out of nowhere. I'm not laughing at anything, I'm tripping. That's not true. I am kind of laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so am I, look how fucking hench Dio is. Fucking hell, his leg muscles have muscles. What the fuck, man? Let's give our worthy contender Jesus Christ, I thought Barrett was big. Fuck. Jesus, the guy could crush you with his fucking arm. Oh, oh, Cloud's a winner. Cloud winner! <laughs> yeah, Cloud just got picked out of, that, out of random as well. Cloud should be used to this by now. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> a small token of my thanks. What is it? A credit card? Ticket. Your ticket to paradise. Oh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud going out of his way to ignore and like get out of Dio's way. Cool, thanks. <laughs> you can tell this makes Cloud very uncomfortable. It would me too to be honest with you. I'd be exactly the same. 
That's why I can relate to Cloud so much, because I would do the exact same thing. I'd be like, what are you doing? I'm not fucking doing this. I would be exactly how he is. Exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't be enthused about this. I'd find it annoying. And I would not want to be... I'd probably be laughing, but that would be it. I, I, I would feel very uncomfortable. I would not want to be up there. Especially not on top of a platform, some kind of podium. I, that, that's my idea of hell. How Cloud reacts is probably exactly how I would. Oh, thanks, yeah. See you later. <laughs> All adult ladies want a piece of Cloud now. What about the Cactua? Can I have him? He looks like he's he looks like he's ready for some cloud. Oh look, there's Tom Berry. Where's your knife, bruh? Is that a knife? Looks like a fish. You got a knife there? Is that a knife? A blow up knife or something? It looks shit. You can have a good plastic knife. One with a retractable blade? I don't know. Well, there is your... Like, Chocobo Chick, is that? I don't know. But it doesn't look like Fat Chocobo. Cho fat Chocobo is bigger. There's Mog. Here we go. Disneyland. Here we go. It's colourful, but not overbearingly bright. Great lighting. Aerith is talking about FF7 Remake and dancing in Honey Bee Inn now. And Tifa, Tifa has questions. Yeah, Costa del Sol was, was fun for the for the na for the nakeds, for the nudies. That was my kink. Move forward. Move forward. There is a lot to do. I know, I'm just I'm just making sure I've covered everything, Mr. X, you know me. I like having a mooch around and seeing what I can do and what I can't do. This is so Disneyland vibes though, isn't it? This is like this is Square Enix's version of Disneyland. It just is. This is exactly how Disneyland kind of is. I mean it's probably a little bit more elaborate than Disneyland if we're honest, but kind of the same vibe. Oh, it's not green to shit. Red's like, whatever, bro. Oh! <laughs> it's up for it! <laughs> Zombies! Zombies! Oh my god, Sepoff is giving him a pass. Yeah. No. I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> well, the four of us are. <laughs> it's going off with them. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I love you, Red. You're brilliant. Right, it's a hotel. Move forward, here's a lot to do. Core region it's sandbox compared to Gold Saucer. Death, poor cloud, need R and R fast, and where it's flirting ladies. Yeah, that's a good point. 
basically, you take away the Mako plants, this place can't exist, can it? Because it can't get power. Which makes a good point. There is an argument to be had about, you know, nuclear power and all of that. I mean, I imagine that's kind of the thing they were flirting at when they did this originally. Basically, you know, yeah, you can have, you can have your, you know, high, high powered energy, like, converters, whatever the fuck they are, like, again, power plants or whatever. But, yeah, they're not really good for the environment. But then you can't have places like this. Holy shit. This is a fucking elevator, isn't it? It's an escalator. What the fuck? Whoa! It's the fastest escalator I've ever seen in my life. Jesus. Oh, the spooky hotel! The spooky hotel! Yes! Oh, it's suitably spooky. Come on, more lightning, please. More lightning. Got the cheesy music as well. Come on. Gargoyles. Where's Batman? Come on, but Batman should be here. Oh, there's bats. No Batman, but close. I need flirting with the ladies. Oh, look. Ghosts. Careful, Barrett. Never underestimate the ghosts. A ghost zombie man. <gasps> oh, my God. Zombie. Yeah, but it's fun, Barrett. Look at it. It's a... Look. Yeah. All of it. Mako. <laughs> Siphoned straight from the live stream. From our veins. Hey, get a grip. Yeah, get a grip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do we have here? A man with a ring cloned over his head. Oh my god, he's Scottish. You telling me Cat Sith is Scottish? He's Scottish. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well that's a, that's a move. You coming? I guess. Got a fucking Scottish cat Sif. He's Scottish. Is Okay. Okay, that's a move. They made him Scottish. Okay. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Someone's got to be in their bonnet. Someone's got to be in their bonnet. Yeah, they're Scottish. <laughs> okay, well that's a move. Certainly a move. Uh, creepy part is coming soon and I'm not talking about Amina's Laughter Closet Gamer. There were three questions and answers. Very important, Closet Gamer. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Barrett. I like Sif even more now. Yeah, I'll be curious what they've done to him. The accent certainly... Oh, it's an interesting choice. I'm not sure if I fully agree. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. I've only just heard the lines. We'll see. We'll see what else. See if he grows on me. Red's, I wasn't keen on Red's voice artist when I first heard him, but he's grown on me as well. So, could be could be good. Creepy interior now. Oh no, the clock is moving. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Okay. More ghosts. Very gold. Okay. I don't exactly know what I think about this. Go to Hotel now. This is so cool how they did all of this. Best remake in the industry. It's very. Well, they've done a. Yeah, it does look like the place, doesn't it? I even remember like there being a, a counter over there, a quirky staircase. The shop is in here, isn't it? There's also a closet that went woof, 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 woof. I remember that being in like your room. Tomberry robot delivers food to your doorstep. I would love to see that. What you got? Remember, there's a hangman behind the counter, isn't there? Clearly not in here though. There's a, definitely a hangman. Remember there's ghosts playing chess. I remember that. I was definitely there. They've done a good remake of it. I have to say it does look like the bloody place. There's a hangman. It's 100% on point. Tacky and understaffed. Great. Not if a hangman's here. Oh! Oh. Well, he's not hanging from his neck, but I suppose. <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one bed. I don't know if after what you see, you will sleep peacefully today, closet guy. <laughs> he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Sorry. Is that Nero? For crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. Right. Huh. Hello again. Nowhere to stay. Oh, here we go. And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? Wouldn't he dream of such a thing? And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? <laughs> you there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? De -de 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 -de. He's a code master as well. Cancellation. The Tonberian Eligor suites have just become available. Eligor? That's a monster as well. <laughs> it feels so good to do good. All right, lads. Enjoy your stay. All right, lads. Enjoy your stay. There we go. A toodaloo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. Well, Cat Sif has clearly decided he's joining us. Pretty much what he does in the original, though, to be fair. Can we go to the shop now? It was a kind of a hangman, I suppose. Alright. I can't do that one yet, then. So I have to go up to the room. Hello, Sif. There you are. Yes. Hello. <laughs> the offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you through. Oh. You can answer any question. Of course. Be it this, be it that. Go on and ask the cat. Okay. We're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? 
Oh, Sephiroth, you say? Oh, right. Hold on to your underpants. His fortunes are usually shit. Oh my god, that android is so creepy with the coloured eyes. You're looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. Alright. Of course. Of course. Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm! Come on, you stupid thing! Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek, and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. Yeah, that's an allegory about Aerith. The stars work in mysterious ways. <gasps> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. Uh, I'm always waiting for Sephiroth to show up. I remember this part: three questions and three answers. Remember them very important. I'll do my best. I can't say I'm going to remember them very well. Uh, set prof. Uh, from Mitch. He haunts me. I'm scared. Hold me stitch. <laughs> Odd. My readings are normally bang on. Stars mustn't be smiling on me. Odd. My readings are normally bang on. Yeah. Whatever you say, Reeve. God, is this a like an, a zombie concierge? Fourth floor. <laughs> of course. Well, fourth floor it is. Don't eat my brain, zombie man. Goodness me! Fucking Palmer. Nice to see the uh, Turks are staying here as well. <laughs> Reeve, no, Rude doesn't even move. Reservation under the name Palmer, Director of Space and Aeronautics. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> he breaks character. Can't do that, bro. It says here you cancelled those rooms. <laughs> no, we didn't. Uh, while we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Ellen. We just took their rooms, that's quite good. Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. We've stole their room. Something wrong. <laughs> we lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. A little podgy man with flipping ego. Let's know he doesn't give a foot. We've arrived. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. Get the fuck out of here, zombie man. You're not eating my brains tonight, bruh. Best concierge I've ever seen. <laughs> You'd love a place like this, wouldn't you, Goge? It'd be like your weekend hangout. You'd be like, "Yeah, I'm staying in a fucking haunted, like a haunted themed hotel." 
I love it. <clears throat> Hombre! Kill it! Oh, it's a Tombury. One stab, you're fucked with those things. Kill it. I don't care if it's a toy, you still kill it. Just in case it is a real one. Yeah, me too. Cool. I was going to get some rest. Not for fun. Sure, Barrett, sure. We're gonna see him on the fucking roller coasters later on, I swear to god. You've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. Right. Please tell me there's That is so creepy, that fucking Tombury. I feel like it's following me with its eyes. What the fuck? He's following me. Stop it! Stop it! No! No! Don't you fuck it. No! 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 Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Don't you fucking come near me! That fucking knife. I know what you are. Al, can we cut it? Can you put your sword out? I want to cut it in half. I work there for sure. Berfogt Mitch follows me from German language. I didn't know that. Goji Berry, new German language. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Goji's Goji's quite clued in. Oh my god. Okay. No, that wasn't exactly scary, but still, it's less scary. It's less scary than that fucking Tombury that won't leave me alone. Go away, Tombury. Oh my god. Hang on a minute. What? That that did move, didn't it? Wood 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 wood. Right. Hard to know if I should be more scared. One in the room scares me more. Again, I kind of want to close the door now. In case it does something. Oh, fuck! You want to stab me? Can I leave? Can't leave. I've got to sleep with this thing in here. Are you fucking... Go to bed with Cloud. Cloud need an R&R &R fast. Can the Tombury go away, though? What's this? A book. that was meant to do. Don't you dare try and stab me, you little shit. Fucking don't like that thing following me. Right, okay. Cloud gets the big, big sweep then, does he? <clears throat> okay. Go to sleep. With a creepy tombery following us around. Thought you would like that, Mr. X. Ah, I just translated Sephiroth haunts me to German. More tired than I thought. I had, yeah, I didn't even know what you were saying. I tried to say it, but I was shit at it, as per usual. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Who's he speaking to? Oh. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Back. Oh, and it were cloud, but in the zombified state we're in. Is there materia? Oh god, I can control Zack, but I'm controlling... So, one stick controls Zack. The other stick controls the camera that Cloud's moving his head around in. So weird. Okay. Huh. Never seen material like this before. Something about the color. Ale green. That's what we're after.
Oh, what's this? Didn't peg you as a bookworm. Guy. Yeah, see, Cloud in his uh, wheelchair. I'm going to take a shower. I'll be right back. No worries, mate. You do your thing. Back to Zach again. Still can't check any of his inventory or anything. Got two magic materials in his uh, sword. We don't know what the fuck they are. Marlene's room, or at least this would be. Where Cloud slept. Oh, it's so weird to be back in Midgar at the same time as being outside of Midgar. But it's fucked. Oh, where his plants are dying. Go down. Yeah, I'm going to Mr. X. I'm just, I'm taking it all in. I'm taking it all in, mate. <laughs> oh, there's Marlene. <laughs> I'm so Would confused as to what's this? going on. Definitely, I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean this. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. Yeah, Biggs is here, isn't he? Or should I shall we say Charlie Charlie Sheen is here? Look on dog, this is Zach's timeline. But Charlie Sheen. How do you know him? I'd rather let him explain. He's a part of the resistance. He'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. I'm so confused. He's coming back ever again. <laughs> sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. Always do. Honest and true. But <laughs> let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes sometimes. That rhymes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Just like that, we're out of Zach's timeline again. Hey, I was knocking at the door. 
God, that tomboy's fucked off. What's that shit? Still gonna be a tomboy. Okay, I'm just curious if it changed. What does the lamp do? I don't think I looked at this one. What the fuck? Pumpkin does something. It's the room of interactive wonders. Book fell off again. Moment of truth. Who will it be now? Cat Sif. Still under the weather, huh? No, I'm fine. Well, Once you'll be at the doors. <laughs> so there with bruh. For a little sightseeing with yours truly. Here we go. Got the date I wanted. For couples, as in. I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. Dee 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 dee. This is right in the parks. Attractions to earn gold saucer points, GP, then exchange your GP for illustrious collector's items, as well as other useful trinkets at kiosks located around the park. Anyway, I'm sad. I got tea for last this time. Well, what can I say? It was in the cards for me and Aerith. I'm sorry, Mr. X. Aoife's gonna have to be with Cloud in your timeline. In mine, Cloud is with Aerith. Has all is right with the world. All is right with the world. There's Goji Beauty. There will be important cutscenes for him. He's gone for a shower, mate. It's alright. He'll be able to watch it back if he wants, won't he? This is all streamed. You can watch it. What's Basra doing? Clearly thinking about Marlene. Yeah. Poor Baz. Zombie man with a weapon. Alright, you're running around with a massive gun on your arm too, bro. Okay, now look around. Oh, I will. I intend to milk this for everything I've got. Oh my god, it's Chadley. Oh. Yes. I believe I understand the situation. Forgive me. I didn't mean to intrude. You're both overdue for a break. Enjoy yourselves tonight. The gold saucer is powered by proprietary modular reactors. But due to environmental concerns, the reactors are cycled between active and dormant states to slow Corel's desertification. Don't concern yourself with our research while you're here, Cloud. Use this time to unwind. It'll do you good. Oh, I will. Hello there, Cloud. Are you enjoying yourself here at the Gold Saucer? Four years ago, the park underwent no extensive way. renovations and was outfitted with state-of-the-art technology. Even today, the Gold Saucer continues to expand with new attractions currently in the works. The Gold Saucer is powered by... But due to environment, the reactions yeah, we've heard that. between active and dormant states... Spooky, spooky hotel. Who's winning 
the game of Fort Condor, guys. Oh, sorry, what was it? No, Queen's Blood. Right, is the shop owner back? Oh, they are. Jesus Christ. Stuffed Tombury. Collection of writings. Oh, so that's Yuffie. A card. Legendary one. And the next potion. Wow. Oh no, well, you know, maybe you'll be a zombie when we come back and then I can and then you can eat someone else's brains. Speak to the robotic guide Moogle to fast travel from one area of the park to another. Where would you like to go, Kubo? Okay. Now we've done the opening area. Need to win some mini mini games to buy it. Fair enough. We got Chocobo Square, we got Speed Square, that's the one with the roller coaster. The Battle Battle Arena, I remember that. Vent Square is where you've got that date that Aerith and Cloud go on. I'm not sure if that's the same place. Um Wonderment Square. I think that's the Wonder Hall where you can play loads of different mini games. Ghost Square is the hotel where we are. Skywheel Square. That must be the, the box where you fly around the fly around the park. Choose a place now. We'll go to Wonderman Square. Oh. I can't go there. I can't so I can only go to the places where that are like selectable then. Fantasy world then. Need to open first. Fair enough. Din 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 diddle diddle in din 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 diddle diddle in din diddle 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 in din diddle diddle diddle. So we got a few locations we got to go then. Okay. Now let's go this way first. Let's do the top left. Well, that's Chocobo Square. Let's not do that one. I'm gonna go to Wonderman Square. Let's do the Ghost Square, that's where we just came from. Wonderment Square, up here. Alright, let's go to Wonderment. Try to find Madney, Madam M here and listen to her words of advice. Clarkson! Dr. DM, welcome to the stream, buddy! You Muppet. I'm no Muppet DM. I'm a demon with a chip on his shoulder. We're doing Wonderment Square first. Welcome to Wonderment Square, Kubo. Oh, you look like this is your first time here. 
Oh, there's your feet. Aha! I knew you'd come crawling out of your room eventually. I mean, seriously, who could resist the siren song of the saucer? You alone? Yeah, got a little sidetracked and wound up losing the others. You know, I want to date DM. And be a third wheel? No. Hello, DM. Cloudy's on date with Aerith now. I'm sad. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. X, but you are not going to get the Tifa result you are what you are after. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, buddy. Queen's blood. 3D brawler. That's the shit we did earlier on. Oh my god. Had a boy cloud. Did we do it? Cloud's epic motorcycle fight on flight on the Midgar Expressway has been recreated in the arcade game G Bike. Defeat pursuing troops, collect point panels. And fill your nitrous boost gauge with boost panels to cross the finish line with the highest score possible. Brake, accelerate, left attack, right attack. I think I remember. Spinning slash, nitrous boost. I don't remember there being a boost before though. Hello, damn Stitchy. I see you, bro. Why to do max win? Well, we'll see. What is it? Rank, one, rank 3. Fucking hell. 3,000. Alright, I'll give it a go. Mr. X is jealous. No, he doesn't. He he what he wishes I dated Tifa. That's what he that's what he was hoping for. But unfortunately, Cloud belongs with Aerith. Just and it's just the facts right there. Here we go, baby. Devil Stitch, he's will be on you soon. Oh yeah. Fuck with me, guys. Didn't get any of those points. Come yeah, on. Holes.
Damn it, that was so close. An A rank. First go. Look on points, max level, careful stitch, he'll be on you soon. And Mr. X has done all of this, he's miles ahead of me on this game. Rank 1 and rank 2 done immediately. You know what? We can now rank 3. Have faith in my ability. Very close. I can do it. I can do that. First go. Come on, I can do better than that. I can do better than that. Missed some speeding up. Yeah, I did. And I missed a few points as well. That would have helped. It's alright. I'll get it this time. I almost did it first go. That tells me this is very doable. Come on, baby. Mmm. Oh yeah. You won't bitch. Come on boys. Let me show you how I get down. I did it. See that? See that, boys? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. S rank. Second go. Wow. I have returned power and speed. I'm playing the original Doom. Congrats, Goge. Well, I'm on a date with Aerith, and I'm doing awesome. We're done with G Bike. One mini game down. One mini game down, Mr. X. Second go. I'm proud of that. Is this a mini game? Queen's Blood. I'm assuming I can't do Queen's Blood yet. It's not really a dating activity, I suppose, is it? Let's speak to this guy. Put your QB skills to the test with Gold Saucer's Queen Blood challenges. Trounce the competition using a freebie card in support cards. Turn the whole game on its head with gimmick battlefields or attempt gruelling survival challenges in which you rack up as many points as possible in a finite number of rounds. 
Okay, so. Okay, so we've got different rounds. Good game. He's a beast. I'm a beast. I'm a beast among men. 1993, dude. Let's do the support card. Two random ways. Start the match with a Gigantua, which increases the rank of your positions in addition to other cards in your hand. Revel in the joy of being able to place high rank cards from the start of battle as you conquer the competition. Alright, I'll give it a sh I'll give it a bash seeing as you lose nothing by doing these anyway. So they want me to play a high rank card immediately. I just begin the match. I, I don't know what the fuck they want from me. Gage Bay, look closely. Very important cutscene for you. Is in the hall for the the is in the hall to the theatre. Which cards are we gonna mulligan? It's mulligan that one. Go on in. <laughs> on then. Knock me out the park. Press to impress. Now what are you going to do, bruh? You can't do shit. Yeah, you've been rinsed, son. I rinsed you. I rinsed your challenge. And there we go. Lion's Doom, yep, yep, oh, I will. Queen's Blood is everywhere you go, huh? Yep, it is. But I'm rinsing them. I just got the Mithril Golem card, because I'm awesome like that. And 50 gold saucer points. Fucking hell, they're, they're generous with the rewards this time around. Uh, support card, Succulent Successor. Start the match with a cat Cactrot, which has the ability to enhance abilities already in play, as well as other cards in your hand. Effectively raise the power of your important cards. The victory should be well in your grasp. Go on then, impress me. Grastropod, look at that fucking thing. Jesus Christ. That looks like it destroys anything on the fucking board, including your own fucking hand. Right, I'm never using that, but fine. Uh Mulligan that. Go. Hello, Juicy. You little monkey. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start with that. Oh, 
win again. Except five, but then I kill off all my chances. Like that one. Five. Well then, what's your move, boy? Okay, fair enough. Just open up the doorway. Need to go again. I will die on a Queen's Blood board. I'm racing up the Trial Mountain with the R Blah 2019 car. It's a RB challenge. Congrats, Mr. Lit. No, oh, sorry, DM. I'm in brain fart mode at the moment. Uh. Very nice. God dang, dude. I love the 90s game endings. <laughs> There's your fat reward and ticket home. $10 says John Romero wrote that in the original Doom. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't really... Lots of homages in games if you just... Well, like I said, if you're aware of them. Dee 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 dee.
Right, Bright, you can't do shit now. You got to sit and watch me win, motherfucker. Don't know where you would ever use that card, but fine. My rear medium tires are done for. Good game. Cheers, Mr. X. You guys are just running around in card games while I'm doing a fantasy one. I fucking love it. Oh, we got him on the left now. Okay, this is weird. All my cards are facing that way. It's not good. Here we go. One flips you for six a bit. I win. Nice try there. <clears throat> you won one round of eight, I ran two rounds of seven. Beat it! Gonna lose that grip, home dog. I wish I could see Stitch and Mr. X first each other in Queen's Blood. <laughs> I think Mr. X would beat me. He sounds more versed in this than I am. I'm just lucking my way through it to a certain degree. I, wish I, um, I did lose grip, I spun. Sounds like you DM. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, Sains has spun. Don't you mean uh, May or whatever the fuck his name is? Uh, I can't do the others. They're greyed out. I have to unlock them. Oh well, I did the three I could do. That's all I've got to say about it. Stitch, they got to make an online version of this. What, of this car game you're playing? Don't be talking about to me about online only games, bruh. They are the bane of my existence. Take on a variety of polygonal Pope pugilists in 3D ball and prizes and gold saucer points. Right hook, left hook, block attacks from the left, Block attacks from the right, limit break. Take note of your opponent's special skills on the baller's section, the selection screen. This will reveal maneuvers they typically employ and how to defend against them. Go to next minigame and go to hall. Uh, let me give this a go. I'll do one round. 
probably lose, but I'll give it a go. Initial award. Got a hook move. Alright, it's gonna be shit. Should we try that? You should we try straight from the menu. KO a motherfucker. There we go. Round one, one. Oh my god, Fat Moogle is next. Twenty-five gold saucer points if you fight him again. Fucking hell. Go to. Oh, I don't like these. RB twenty nineteen. They are like twenty fourteen one. You guys are talking about, but sure. That wasn't easy. Damn it. Got a fucking up attack. I wasn't expecting, it was just left and right.
What does that miss?
I'll come back to that. Fucking ridiculous. Oh, this is the snowboarding game. Actually, in this. In the construction for bastards. Yeah. Well, let's wonder minutes where. Let's have a look at another place then, because clearly not all the attractions are available. I'm gutted there's no crane sh machines, that would be quite cool. Their Blade demo hit 980k data views as almost double that of Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth because it came up. What news flash, really? I didn't play it. <laughs> Cards on the table. Uh, 69, 690,000. Jeez, that's a lot. Yeah. Edge Vader, this is the only, only one hour of Stellar Blade. Yes. One hour Stellar Blade, Skywheel Square. Right, let's have a look at this. Attention guests! We're not admitting anyone else at this time. Please come back later. Oh well. Just means more time for us to explore the park. Boring bastards. Can't do Skywheel yet. 
Done Ghost Square, we've done Wonderment. It's crazy how many plays. Go to Hall now, theatre. Okay. Let's check out the theatre then. Up here. Speed Square, Battle Square. Event Square. That's the theatre, isn't it? Event Square. Alright, and try to find Madam M here. Okay. Place is super fast, look at that. To a king. Flash for kid zero. What's that mean? Ladies, do you know her? I do. You do? That's Jessie. She died fighting for Avalanche. Really? You know she was an actress? Oh, shit. Jessie, Goji, not that I deserve one. Your time. Just a friend? Or a girlfriend? You can be pretty dense when it comes to that kind of stuff. She gave as good as she got. Never cut me any slack. And yeah, just a friend. Oblivious plural cloud. Is that black and white? I don't follow. You young man still have a lot to learn. He does. Right? Yeah. Oh my god! OG, you got your kink. Jesus, this feels like a real fucking theatre now, doesn't it? Jesus. Would have been fun to see. Goji's crying. He's got the tears. Mercy Jesse on pitchy, yes, Goji very. Thirsty Jesse. Dee dee dee. Such a pretty theatre. It is, isn't it? Look at that. Gold fucking boxes as well. They spared no expense on this shit, did they? Like you know, I'd like to sit up in some of that. Of course the peasants can't sit up there, no doubt, you motherfucking bastards. Ivory Tower, motherfuckers! I tell you. Oh, there's Andrea. Well, look who it is. We meet again. I must say, your duel with Dio earlier was a sight to behold. <laughs> Gave me goosebumps. Oh. The stage calls to you, begs for you to bear your soul upon it. What are you doing out here? The park director requires my talents for a show. 
I cry. My fancy footwork, to be precise. What do you say? Shall we cut a rug? No. Or in half with his sword. Limelight can melt that icy heart. <laughs> Don't let me keep you two from all the fun. Go on, please. Experience all the saucer has to offer. God, there's loveless. Ugh. Don't let me keep you two from all the fun. Go on. I will. We will see the saucer. Good day, and well met, most esteemed guest. Perchance you have points for me? Perchance I do. Alright, I can buy the loveless poster. It's gonna be worth every penny. Stuffed fat chocobo. He's 50 points. Oh, there we go. That's an airy thing. I'm getting that. Loveless card. Take it. And a Giga Potion. Because why not? Never seen a Giga Potion. Loveless is sold out. Shocker. Let me guess. What's his face? Fucking, uh... Genesis bought all the fucking tickets knowing him, the fucking prick. Try to find Madam M. Where is she though? Because she isn't in there. Let's go, I won by the skin of my teeth. Well, there's Kate Sith. We all want today, DM. This is so trippy. Right, let's go to the Chocobo Square next. Let's have that moment of fun. The gold saucer is just as wonderful as I imagine. Imagine it will be with the Chocobo racing. That's where I'm going now then. Good timing. It's like being in GT World Series Finals. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. You're right, Aerith. They're turning country. Oh, there she is. Madam M. Honestly, darling, if you wanted to spend time with me, you only had to ask. Mm hmm What are you doing in this place? Why, celebrating, of course. <laughs> My little jaunt to Costa del Sol proved faithful. And now I'm flushing all that gill down the toilet. I swear, every time one of Sam's chocobos takes first, probably doping his Is it the black fucking chocobo with the guy with the poncho fucking winning every time? Enough about me, though. What about you? Surely you've got better things to do than listen to me vent. Like paying attention to your girlfriend. <laughs> Go have fun before she gets bored with you. Whatever. You can possibly get bored of Cloud. She's into him. Still, she's actually gonna gonna murk in chocolate racing. Oh my god, this is gonna be great. Well, it depends. I don't know if I'm gonna actually be the one racing though, am I? Or will I be? I don't know. I don't think they'd let me race, would they? 
滴滴滴滴滴滴。What you got for sale? Thousand for an elixir? Are you fucking high? Chocobo jockey, I'll buy it. Art of swordplay, I'll buy it. And the stuffed chocobo, I'll buy it. I'm all about collectible crap. Din did a little little in. Did a lady, did a lady, did a lady, did a lady. Add same line when I with another tooth one deep. Words of wisdom. Poor Tifa sitting alone there in this place. Well, maybe they'll get to ride on the Chocobo. No. Fuck you and your member services only bullshit, boy. Fucking bullshit, bruh. Watch him on the monitors. Are you fucking high? I ain't doing that. I want to ride me chocobo and I want to fucking race him and win. Fucking assholes, man. Alright, well, let me. Don't let me do my thing. Bend it, bruh. Alright, let's go to the battle square next then. Iconic music. Fucking right, mate. Oh, FYI guys. Uh I got I saw in the I got a mail through from Square Enix the other day telling me that the soundtrack for this game is coming out soon. Already pre-ordered. I pre-ordered Remake soundtrack two ages ago. I've got that one. But this one, I was like, yep, do it. It's Final Fantasy music. Final Fantasy VII music. I'm not doing it. I'm not saying no to that. There are a few good ones on here. Look on Moogle, Moogle where to go next to open place. I want to see what the battle arena is going to do. Well, there is a swag location here. Alright. Well, I've clearly only got enough for the stuffed bomb. I have the fist, mithril, or. Oh, a Dio card. Level boost materia. We need, we need these. We need these. <laughs> that soundtrack is going to be massive. I know, I know. Banging, mate. It's going to be banging. You will fight Cloud and Aerith. I got better Cloud and Tifa. I'll have you know, Mr. X, Aerith is quite OP. I was on the fence when I played this originally, but in fact, she's got that shield. And, um. And that radiant. That radiant move, whatever the fuck it is. Radiant aura, whatever the fuck. Basically means she's. If, you, if, you, if it's an enemy that wants to do physical damage, it's not possible. Buy an ether. I'll buy a phoenix down. Tifa's rise and fallibility. Yeah, I don't know. I think Aerith is a little better, but we will see. It's like there's not going to be handicaps this time. Plays up against right of opponents. It's two-person team in the muscle head coliseum to earn prize and gold sources points. No, that item, while items can't be used in the arena, you will cover some of your HP and MP every round. Yeah, I know that. They're going to put handicaps on us, though. I mean, they do that in the original. Series for two people. Here we go. Moment you've all been waiting for, people.
Triple slash. Why the award? Lustra Shield. And healing wind. Bless them with your love and grace. Energy on it. Gotta be careful. Jesus Christ. This is game over, huh? Right, I'm not having that. And we've got to go. I have to watch the rest later. Peace out, guys. See you, mate. Saw Thirsty Jesse pictures today. <laughs> he did, he got his wish, at the very least. Seriously, these cocks are ridiculous. I can't even fucking film a bar. Fuck off! Holes. Nice. Huh? 
else for you dick skin oh yeah <sighs> believe my mad skills <laughs> safe. 50 gold saucer sandwiches devil may care desperados Secrets of Ninja. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Good game. Ooh. Kill Bex goons. This is not as intense as the other one, though. No way, it. Hold that thought. Get out of here and go and be a moose somewhere else. All done. De -de -de -de. Oh yeah. Six was a ninja. Done. Two person series, two series of person bouts where you pick your team, clean victory over those who will stop at nothing, prevent and eliminate interlopers. Well, good game. Cheers, Mr. X. We're gonna get through them. Oh god, these things. Yeah, these weren't that easy. Deal 
with that. I'm coming! Oh yeah. Got assess. Oh shit, yeah. That's a good point. Oh my god, there's another round. Oh no, yes, that was the first one, wasn't it? Fucking cleanse the cottle with two people. Phoenix out. Get up. Good game, but Eric was deaf. I know, I know. Oh well. As long as we win.
Fuck a week against the end. One Phoenix. That's quite good there. At least we got a health mate, though. Kill the fucker. Christ. Fuck. That was harder than I thought. 
your gold saucer points. Use weakness of the enemy. Yeah, yeah. Use realize ability from this summon. It's a real lifesaver. Yeah. Good game. Well, it was all right. It's quite hard though. Ghoulish fights. These are the only the easy ones, aren't they? Fuck. Give us a holler when you want to throw down. Either way, we will have to continue the date in the next stream on Monday. Uh Yeah. It's as good a point as any to end it off. With Tifa it was much faster. Yeah, because you could do stagger and stuff, yeah, I hear you. I don't know, Aerith was pretty good when her moves, like that lustrous shield was actually stopping enemies from hitting her, but now those some of these monsters can run through it, which is a bit annoying. Look on level. Yeah, I know, it says 40, that's the next one. Um, but anyway, I will close it off here, guys. Have a lovely weekend. I will be doing art over on Twitch tomorrow if you are interested. Alternatively, if you enjoy my content, please throw a like and subscribe my way as it really does help my channel grow and flourish. Alternatively, find me over on Twitter at Hellart Stitch, posting various news and updates. And yes, if I don't see you tomorrow, I will see you on Monday for another sesh. On level, this is the minimum. Yeah, I know, I know. It's easy. <laughs> you have to be smarter going forward, mate. Anyway, you have a good weekend, Mr. X. You look after yourself, buddy. I will see you on Monday for more. It's going to be a laugh. Have a good one, mate. You look after yourself. Thanks for keeping me company. Thank you, Goge, as well, and DM. Uh, again, you all guys, all you, hanging with you guys is so much fun. Oh, and Blaze as well. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. All right. Have a good weekend, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye.